Dysart Unified School District, in cooperation with the City of Surprise and the Governor's Office of Highway Safety, conducted an impaired and distracted driving mock crash for more than 2,000 students at Valley Vista High School. The event, which was held two days before the prom, was put on to educate young adults about the dangers and life-changing consequences of impaired and distracted driving. So the idea behind a mock crash is to get the kids to realize that this is a real thing. You know, it. I guess you can almost say a scared straight uh, purpose in that they see some consequences that could happen from bad choices. The mock crash featured a simulated scenario where two vehicles filled with students who were on their way to prom collided. The accident was caused by the unsafe, impaired, and distracted driver in one of the vehicles. They need to see, and this is something that I preach to the kids, is the choices you make today will dictate the life you lead tomorrow. So the choices of our driver who was drinking and texting, the consequences that he's going to have tomorrow is he's going to jail, you know, and that's something that will be on his record forever, along with the guilt of having to live with killing somebody, you know, because of his choices. The mock crash began with a harrowing 911 call recorded by one of the student actors. My friend, he's, he's out for me. Oh my God. The phone call that Daisy made, that was really realistic and I think it stuck with a lot of people and really showed like you don't want to have to make that phone call, you don't want to have that phone call made on you. Surprised police and fire departments then responded to the mock crash and performed all the procedures that they would follow during a real accident. The actors in the mock crash were played by Valley Vista High School theater students to add authenticity to the experience for those students watching in the stands. I think it was crucial to include students that they see on campus every day. Uh, we could have brought in actors from another school, but it would have been real sterile. We would have been watching it on TV. We needed to make this real for the kids. It was a little bit hard. It was a little bit surreal, real, like, because it's a real, such a real situation. It happens to people all the time, and just the reality kind of just all hit me at once whenever like we whenever the full set the full uh, gore makeup whatever all the EMTs paramedics the helicopters there it was just very it was a very surreal time so it was a little difficult just how, because of how real it was and how much that often happens the students who acted in the mock crash took pride in the fact that they were performing an authentic experience and hoped that the message resonated with their fellow students doing like comedy like Shakespeare and stuff like that that's always fun and that's like that's a good thing to give back to the community like so they can like enjoy theater and stuff but this is something that really really impacts people and makes people think I feel like this influenced a lot of people and I don't think I've done something that's impacted this many people before I think everyone picked up the message that we just want to we just want to keep everyone safe we want everyone to know that this kind of stuff happens every day I know it affected kids I know it did because kids were coming up to me that day. Kids were going up to the mad speaker and thanking her for sharing her story. So I know it affected some kids and we can just hope that it continues, that, that it's something that they don't forget anytime soon, like our freshmen and sophomores who started driving next year. Just hope it's a message they'll remember when it's their turn to go to prom.